Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to the Angry Video Game Nerd. This is episode 26. This is the Sega 32X. So let's check this video out, shall we? Damn, 2007. A long time ago. He's gonna take you back to the past To play the shitty games and suck ass He'd rather have a buffalo <laughs> Take a diarrhea dump in his ear He'd rather eat the rotten asshole Of a roadkill thump and down it with beer He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard Song never gets old. Sega Fight UX. The Sega CD had its place in history. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a piece of shit, but it had a certain appeal. The 32X is the real deal. It sucks. <laughs> oh god, it sucks. <clears throat> you plop it on the top of the Genesis like they're mating. God, I mean, do you think that's enough add-ons? It doesn't even look aesthetically presentable. I mean, it's just like an ugly tumor. I mean, yeah. did they really need all this bullshit leeching on the Genesis? Wow. That poor Genesis is just thinking, oh, please, God, take this shit off me. <laughs> it's like getting gang raped. Both of its slots are getting fucked at the same time. <laughs> and picture this. If it was a Model 1 Genesis, it would have been even more of a spectacular mess. And there's metal prongs you have to insert into its slot. I mean, there's something wrong here. This whole thing is just a mountain of cockadookie. So what does the 32X do? Well, it's compatible with all your 16-bit Genesis games, but it also has its own library of 32-bit games. Oh, you gotta love this. No end labels on the cartridges. May I ask why? Here's the Genesis games. You can read them. You can see what they are. If I'm trying to pick out a game, I can just visually scan my eyeballs across them without <laughs> having to do this. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, Virtual Fighter? What's this? Oh, Star Wars? What's this? Primal Rage? The same thing as Atari. Labeled? Not labeled. Labeled? Not, not labeled. labeled. Labeled? Labeled? And not labeled. Even Nintendo's guilty of the same thing. If you <laughs> labeled the older games, why can't you do the same to the newer ones? Yeah. Who came along and said, okay, we're gonna have better graphics, better games, and oh, those end labels gotta go. When did this idea of simple convenience become obsolete? Now about the 32X, hooking up this bastard is just insane. Believe it or not, like the Sega CD, it has its own fucking power adapter. Oh. That's great. I mean, now you got three. And wow. trying to hook them all up at the Free. same time is a friggin' nightmare. Let's look at the most minimum amount of effort it could possibly take. So I'm plugging into the TV. I mean, now I obviously can't plug in all three of these things. So here's the most basic power strip you can get. Every big store sells these things. These are common. So mm. I plug in my fucking power strip or whatever. Here goes the Genesis, the yeah. Sega CD, and bullshit. <laughs> what a load of fucking bullshit. How did they fuck wow. this up so bad? I can't even turn it the other way because it doesn't fit. Why can I only plug in two power adapters? Wow. Why can't these go sideways? Or better yet, why the hell do they have these box things? Mm. Why can't it just be like this? Mm -hmm. Even the Atari 5200 with its huge ass box, it still <laughs> ends with a normal plug. You know, that really pisses me off. I even have a camera, which I just bought this year, and it has a box like that. We live in the year 2007, and they can't figure out that shit like that takes up too much room? <laughs> these fucking things should be banned. Have these, not these. Yeah. So anyway, let's fire this monster up and play some Primal Rage. Great title screen, huh? There isn't even any title at all. What is this? W wait, wait a minute. Oh, please, God, tell me what's going what on. Why can't oh, I see the characters? Yeah, where is the character? I'm playing Invisible Primal Rage. All right, let's try Virtual Fighter. Whoa. What the fuck? Guess what? We left something out. There's what? another cable which oh, connects the Genesis to cable. the 32X. Isn't it enough fuck. that the damn thing is inserted onto the top <laughs> of the Genesis? Why does it need another connector? Look at this. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> and what a perfect visual analogy. Sega invented the 32X to increase the lifespan of the Genesis. And that's exactly what the friggin' thing looks like. It's on life support. It's a fucking mess. So there's Primal Rage, which to my recollection looks nowhere near as good as the arcade. In fact, I'm not even sure how much better it looks in the Genesis version. 
You got all the moves, the farting, the puking, the pissing, which I can't do. So if you want to try that out, be my guest. I mean, that's what I hate about this game, the moves. They're so awkward, especially the fatality moves. I mean, just forget about it. It's always something like hold these three buttons and then tap some weird combination uh, on the control pad. That. I don't know why they make any moves that require you to hit up. Because you know what happens? You, you jump. jump. Yeah. I'm sorry, but when I have to download a move list and remember all kinds of combinations yep. of buttons, that just ruins the game for me. Then you got Doom, which is one of my all-time favorites, but the music sounds like shit. Compared to the, the Super fuck? Nintendo version. Holy shit, that's much more bad. Ooh. Yeah, that's bad. Ugh. Yeah, that's bad. Wow. Ugh. Also, the Super Nintendo version has more levels. The only thing it lacks is the graphics. They're horrible. On the 32X, they're better, but my point is, everything should be better. Yeah, now you got Virtual Fighter. It was one of the first 3D fighting games, and it sure looks like it. I really hate how every time you jump, it's like you're on the moon. God, the control God. sucks. And the characters act like they have problems. The PlayStation 1 graphics. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now we got Star Wars. Yeah, it's an arcade classic, but I don't know about this one. I mean, the graphics are balls. Everything looks like a polygon, and it's putting me to sleep. Mm. Like my Sega CD video, keep in mind, I'm limited to how many games I can review. I'm aware that I'm leaving out popular ones such as Snatcher on the Sega CD and Knuckles Chaotix on the 32X. But remember, if I don't have the game, I can't review it. It doesn't matter anyway, because I wanted to focus on the console itself. The bottom line, the 32X sucked, and yeah. it was one of the biggest failures of all time. And just to celebrate their failure, or just for shits and giggles, they released a few CD 32X games, which require both the 32X and the Sega CD. So if you happen to own both this pile of vomit and this mm. piece of shit, you can mix the two together. Wow. So you can clearly see the 32X was just not worth it. Mm. And gamers were too smart to be suckered in because they knew this piece of junk would be abandoned shortly because the Sega Saturn was on its way. Hell, it was already out in Japan, so nobody gave two fucks about this <laughs> beast. It cost about $150, $150 when it first came out. Bucks. And the only people who bought it, they had mechanical problems. So on top of that, there were rumors that it could damage your Genesis games. Wow. I don't even know if that was true or not. The Sega Saturn was released in the US about six months later. Only about 40 games or maybe less came out for the 32X before it bit the dust. Wow. I mean, what kind of marketing was that? What were they yeah, thinking? Yeah, that was bad. And on top of that, Sega had yet another console planned in between called the Neptune, which Neptune. was scrapped pretty quickly. All it was going to be was a standalone 32X anyway, which is what it should have fucking been in the first mm. place. So not only was the Saturn on the way, but so was the PlayStation and the Nintendo 64. Gamers knew it was a better idea to just wait, and stores were selling the 32X for about $20. Wow. I got mine at a flea market for $2.50. Oh, I'm shit. dead fucking serious. Wow. Now, excuse me. I gotta send this fucking shit back to the $2. fire zone. $2.50. Okay, let's pause it there. That was good. Um, I mean, wow. Yeah, I would. I would have. I've never played that. Uh, the Sega 32X. I never had that, but it looked terrible. I mean, that thing did look like like it was on life support. I mean, there was just so many fucking wires plugged in all its slots. I mean, it was like it was getting gang raped with all the wires. I mean, it was terrible. It, no console should have that many accessories and plugged into it. No, that's uh, that's that's bad. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment uh, down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.